Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on Bud Carey Syndrome. Bud Carey Syndrome is a condition in which the hepatic veins, which are the veins that drain the liver, are blocked or obstructed by a thrombosis or tumour. This blockage will cause the blood to back up into the liver and as a result the liver will grow larger, causing congestive ischemia and also damage of the hepatocytes, which are the liver cells. Some of the causes of Bud Carey syndrome are hypercoagulable states, such as taking COCP drugs, pregnancy, malignancy, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria or polycythemia, and also thrombophilia. Other diseases such as tuberculosis or tumor in the liver, renal, or adrenal glands are some of the causes as well. The clinical features of Bud Carey syndrome the patient may complain of abdominal pain and on physical examination, you might feel hepatomegaly and splenomegaly where there is enlarged liver and spleen. There might be signs of portal hypertension causing esophageal varices and ascites where there is abdominal distension, edema on the legs, hepatic encephalopathy where the mental status of the patient is affected and they might also have vomiting episodes as well. To investigate for Bud Carey syndrome, some of the investigations include imaging tests such as ultrasound, computer tomography scan, which is CT scan, and also MRI scan. To see if you have, have liver cirrhosis, the doctor may want to order a liver biopsy as well. So how is Bud Carey syndrome treated? The treatment includes angioplasty, or transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, which is TIPSS. And other treatment include anticoagulation, and also we can consider liver transplant in fulminant hepatic necrosis or cirrhosis of the liver. That's all for this video, thank you.